Hello YouTube and welcome to the Montreal Underground. This is a huge, 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 did I tell you it was huge, um, connection of shops and restaurants and there's a subway system and there's businesses over top. But for most people, it's a shopping destination. And it runs secretly under most of downtown. So in the winter months in particular, this place is popping. Because not only does it offer a convenient and warm way to get around the city. But also, it offers interesting attractions. Like this. Le Mur de Berlin à Montréal. Which translates as the Berlin Wall in Montreal. Of course, the Berlin Wall was famously the divider between East Germany and West Germany, going back to Soviet times. And for Montreal's 350th anniversary, this piece was donated. And it now sits here alone. <laughs> in this shopping center. Now I have to tell you, as you might gather by the fact that I'm the only one here, this is not a very well-known fact. I mean, there's Montrealers who don't even know this is here. And so if you are visiting the city, and you're looking for something interesting to see, a fun scavenger hunt to go on that will not be surrounded by tourists, try to find the wall. If I seem to be a bit confused walking back and forth, that's because I have actually never been to this part of the underground. Just to show you how large it is. hope that this connects
Mm. Maybe I will have to go outside. We're gonna see if we can avoid that. Oh. So here's the plan. I'm trying to go this way. And then I wanna go back this way. Because if I can make it that way, I can get towards the Eden Center and the area that I am more familiar with. This was a little side stop to show you the wall. Hey, there it is again. There are more passageways up there, but I have a feeling I should probably go down. Well, I did tell you this was the Montreal Underground, so maybe it only makes sense that I go underground. Is this open? This place is like very empty. Okay, this. <laughs> the strange modern architecture mixed with the fact that I am the only one here makes this a very strange experience. I feel like I just landed on an alien spaceship or something. Um, okay. Try to act normal. Ah. This is the way. Not sure if there's anything special about this chair. Should we try it out? <laughs> okay. Time to get down to business. I promise there's things other than empty hallways and chairs. And we will find them. Maybe.
and it was all yellow. Coldplay reference, anyone? No? I hope at least one person out there got that reference. Well, YouTube, we have left the barrenness of the alien spaceship and the yellowness of that yellow tunnel. <coughs> and we have entered into the World Ping Pong Championships. No, we have entered into Um, honestly, I don't know where we've entered into. I've never been here either. <laughs> A very well lit place though. Very interesting look to it. Palace de Congress de Montréal, so the Congressional Palace, I guess, would be above us. Okay, now I have a rough idea where I am. Okay, yeah, so this is actually where they hold This is actually where they hold some large conventions. Like I think the Comic Con takes place here. Uh, and maybe there's also like art exhibits and stuff. This is reminding me that I should attend more cultural events because, uh, yeah, I, I should know where this is. I should know this place by now. I've been in Montreal for a while. Okay, so. So I want to go this way without going outside. Can it be done? So this here is one of the uh, metro stations, Place Darm. Sometimes they don't like cameras in places like that, so I'm gonna keep moving, but if I'm lucky, are you feeling lucky, punk? If I am lucky, this will continue without taking me outside. Oh yeah, I found it. See, this is the interesting thing about this complex. They, it's usually referred to as the Montreal Underground. But as you can tell, now we are above the traffic. We're above the ground level. Whereas other parts, there's a significant amount of shopping and food courts and stuff actually, as the name would suggest, under the ground.
So maybe one general tip would be if you find yourself getting lost um, or unable to continue, try changing levels. Okay, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> Going into nothingness. All right. Beer cans and empty Doritos. You know, it's funny. It's funny that that sign says Government of Canada because I was just thinking like, um, this, this part, this part is noticeably less maintained and more beat up than the first part. But of course, the first part was paid for by, uh, well, capitalism <laughs> companies, I guess. The companies who own those shopping complexes and stuff. Uh, whereas the government of Canada apparently can't afford to maintain their part of the underground. No, I'm just kidding. I, uh... I'm sure the government's got some money to fix a few bricks. Office towers. Well, they got lots of money for this place. I guess it's just that one particular tower. Sorry, do you know if there's a metro station? Um, keep, people keep telling me this one. Do you know which one you're looking for? Plast yeah, that way and to the right. Yeah. Oh. A couple minutes. <laughs> um, I'm just laughing at that guy who's like... Um, you know, lost looking for the metro because I was just telling you guys how easy it is to get lost in here. That guy was obviously in the same boat. And I wish I could have given him better advice for how to get out of here, but uh, I barely know myself. Another funny thing is because this is like downtown and going towards old Montreal, these are the parts of the city that get a lot of tourists. And so uh, <laughs> the fact that someone like myself who lives in Montreal barely knows how to get in and out of this place. You know, I can imagine it gets quite confusing for uh, newcomers. Okay, but now... The vibe has changed again.
behind the scenes. Sorry if my camera's a bit shaky. I'm just taking off my jacket because... That's the thing, it gets quite chilly outside, but then when you're inside... It gets hot. In fact, even if you are just, uh, even if you're just visiting Montreal, even if you don't plan to come to the underground, it's a good idea to dress in layers because in the winter, even like the subway system or offices can get really hot. So you don't want like one huge coat with a t-shirt underneath. You want like, ideally you want a couple of layers for this type of climate. Another interesting building here. Um, trying to figure out where to go next. Uh, Yeah, okay, okay. I was gonna take the escalator, but it's actually broken, so. We will take the stairs. Of course, uh, anywhere with music playing, I try to avoid too, because YouTube is quite strict with music. So much so that just some music playing in the background of a video. If it's a really popular song, that could be enough to get the video taken down from YouTube because they will say I don't have authorization to use that song. So, and so literally uh, an hour long video could be taken down because of like a 10 second clip of a song. It's, it's ridiculous. But getting back to Montreal, if I can find my way out of this place, uh, Grand Salon Opera. Oh, the opera building? That could look cool. I don't think it's this way though, this is just a restaurant. Or a hotel, I don't know what that is. Giro. What's Giro? Should we find out what Giro is? Uh, but I have a feeling I'm on the wrong floor. I think I gotta go down again. Um, hotel reception, yeah, so, um, I guess, I guess we'll find out what Giro is, I don't know.
Okay, so that's like a radiology clinic. This is, um... Okay, my friends, we have we have reappeared in the middle of a food court. That was that was unexpected. I, I thought we were going to be back on the same level. So how do I? Oh, this is kind of promising. Okay, we got some hallways again. Um, okay, so... Oh no, we're back. <laughs> oh no, we were on the same level. We're back. Remember these guys? This is where I started. Okay. Um, what do I do now? Is this where I came from now? I, I wish I were exaggerating for effect here, but uh, I actually have no idea where I am going. <laughs> Dollarama, McDonald's. This just goes out. You know what, I think, I think if I can get towards the Place des Arts Metro, not to be confused with Place des Arts, which is the one I, I passed by earlier, I think I can find my way up. The question is, how do I get there? Oh, 
Yeah, I really don't see them putting an exit on the other side of that food court because that would just be poor design because no one would know it's there. This way. <laughs> Place des Arts. That's what I was looking for. Um, okay, so the food court is over there. The level above me only goes outside. And this. Oh, I literally, wait, I was literally at that coffee shop, wasn't I? Did, did I, did I pass this on the way in? This isn't the way I came in, is it? Oh god, this is so funny. Like, it's only that little um, bit of outside to cross the street. <laughs> So all that extra effort, I could have just stepped outside for 10 seconds, but. To prove to YouTube that you can go all the way from the Berlin Wall to the center of the underground, I did it the hard way. Pretty cool display. This is a, uh, not sure if this is the opera house or just another Sal Wilfred Pelletier. In any case, it's a music venue that Looks quite interesting. Now we got decisions again. Do I go down? I don't think so. Bit of renovations. Actually, I know exactly where we are. This is going to lead us right to the metro. Um, yeah, I know exactly where we are. And I think from the other side of the metro, we will be able to uh, get towards the Eden Center and all that stuff. So yeah, right around this corner is gonna be the metro. The question is, 
do I need to pay for a ticket to get to the other side? Hmm. Because there's an area that's like, I mean, you'll see what I mean. There's like the security check area. Interesting stained glass. Funny because I, uh, I walked by here many times, but usually I'm in a hurry to leave a place like this. It's only when you actually slow down and notice the details that you notice little things like that. I mean, really notice, you know? So that's the payment zone. I don't want to go there. Um, I mean, Plastic Festival, that's outside, right? Ah, uh, no. There's got to be a way from here to... Where is it? Where is it? And if I'm not mistaken, I want to go this way, right? Actually, no, I want to go up towards St. Catherine. Cut you this way. But I was just up there, wasn't I? Okay, so this, I know I could go that way and maybe there's some more stuff, but I promise this won't be a repeat. I just need to go slightly back. And find another passageway towards towards the rest of it. Hmm. By the way, the recording I'm doing is about to hit 40 minutes uninterrupted. Filmed in 4K. This is by far the longest single take I've I've done on this new camera. The DJI Pocket 3, which was just released in the past week or so. If you're interested in that, um, There will be a link in the description where you can learn about it on Amazon or you check out my other videos. But uh, hmm. Hero. Everywhere we go, those signs are there. Um, okay, so so that that way only that way only goes towards the metro. So uh, I guess my last hope is going down.
No, if it's just a parking lot, I don't really want to go down there. That'd be kind of. I, I'll tell you a specific reason I don't want to go down there because uh, there's actually a lot of car theft in Montreal, and I don't want people thinking I'm uh, like if I have no business being down there, I'm just filming cars. Like that would be probably a red flag for security people. So I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to play nice, and I'm going to stay up here. But it's funny, right? Like this, you, you notice how this entire time, like there's no, there's no clear map of the Montreal Underground, right? It's not really a thing that is advertised. It's just, it's just a place to get lost in, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I'm doing it. After 40 minutes of exploring, I am breaking the unspoken rule and I'm stepping outside. Ah, blinded by the light. <laughs> blinded. Listen, if there's any Montrealers watching or any experts who know the underground well. Let me know. Um, let me know where I went wrong because to my knowledge. Oh, sorry, I had to. I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't scare the seagulls. I'm just keeping them on their toes, you know? Giving them a little workout. What am I talking about? Oh yeah. Um, so if there's any Montrealers who know how to get from here to there without stepping outside. I mean, on a day like this, <laughs> it's, it's not so serious. I didn't even have to put my coat back on because I'm slightly warm after all that time inside. But let's say it was pouring rain like it sometimes is. Or if it, you know you're feeling sick and it's freezing outside, you know, like there's all kinds of reasons people don't want to go outside. There's a zombie apocalypse happening up there, you know, situations like that. It is helpful to know how to get all the way without leaving the underground. It was my goal to take you there. I failed. I failed. I have forsaken you, YouTube. My life is a lie. Um, all right, Dan. Pity party is over. You know what? When life gives you lemons, you go to the grocery store and you trade them for avocados. No, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When you get knocked down, you get back up. And when you are doing a tour of the underground and you are forced to go outside, you do what you have to do and you walk a couple of blocks and then you go back inside. Actually, now that we're on the other side of the metro, uh, again, it might, it might be possible from here to... Uh, to go under and to be in, but I, I just I don't want to go back in and have to come up again. That would be super embarrassing. So I'm gonna walk a couple blocks to an entry point that I know.
It's a weekday, early afternoon. Most people around here are probably uh, at work, at school. So the streets are not particularly busy, for downtown at least. Ah, you know what's weird? I, I know, I know there's some Montreal underground under me. I just can't, <laughs> can't remember how to get to it. This building, maybe? Hmm. I suppose this is also important to show you in the sense that, um, you know, if you are a tourist starting around this part of the city and you are trying to find the underground <laughs> you know you know there's a lot of stuff down there but you're like how do I actually enter it can be harder than it looks now we're coming up to the bay I know this I know this part pretty well So after five minutes of daylight, we're going to find our way back in. This is the Hudson's Bay Company, casually referred to as the Bay. I thought this would connect to the underground. Oh, is this it?
Oh. Thank goodness. Yeah, I was actually afraid I'd have to go out again. Never have I been so excited to see a barren hallway. Though it's not as barren as the one before. In fact, there's even a gym in there. This will show you um, what I'm talking about when I talk about the Montreal Underground because it really is a big shopping destination. But as, I, as, I've, as I've shown you, it can be confusing, right? Because let's say you know where a place is on Google Maps and you come here and then you realize, oh, there's five different levels to this shopping district. What level is my store actually on? Oh, this place is good. Ollie's. Yeah, this place actually has, um, I'm not going to go in there because there's more to show you, but they, they have a, they have like a buffet where you pay by weight and not only is the food, the food quality is quite good, but it's, it's not that expensive too. Okay, another dead-end food court. Um, I just, I thought that might have been a touch screen, but it wasn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's also not touch screen. Okay, I'm just touching things for no reason. So where are we? Because I want to get to here. Okay, we started by the bay, which means we Dollarama and stuff is okay. Let's actually do this right. Where's Ollie's? Ollie's is sixteen twenty. Oh yeah, there it is. Oops. Oh, which means. Yeah, this is an example of like, if, if people weren't walking through here, I would never think to take this little like construction filled hallway. Like, how is this the through point for the largest underground shopping center in Canada? <laughs> like, no signs, no indication, just Figure it out on your own. Welcome to Montreal. Okay, and I think, yeah, this is gonna be noisy. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in this part. Yeah, I guess I should have got up. Oh. That ice cream is looking good. Uh. Now, if...
Okay. Now this is the part I know. Decathlon is a very good uh, place to buy outdoor sports, clothing and equipment, hiking boots, stuff like that. It's a French company, so it's actually hard to, it's very popular in Europe, but it's hard to find in North America. But since Montreal speaks French, we get some cool French companies like that. Yeah. Day of the Dead. Fête de Mort. The famous Mexican tradition. Uh, I just wanted to point out Time Out Market. Uh, I'm not going to go up there because... Again, it's just more people eating and it's there's some loud music and stuff, but good place if you want to upscale food court. Oh, so this is actually like a Mexican themed. Should I walk through it? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm too tall for this anyway. Okay. Well, YouTube. What else can I say? I mean, we have... We have walked through the Tunnel of Dead. We have... seen the Berlin Wall. We have gotten ourselves lost on multiple occasions. And amazingly, I have not been told to stop filming by any security guards. I keep kind of wor worrying every time I see one. So yeah, this part, if you go left at Decathlon, we got Lululemon, we have, uh, I mean, somewhere around here, there's even a, I didn't show you Uniqlo, which is back there, which is another really popular shop. Um, there's a Nike store, there's a Hugo Boss, there's, I mean, this is where it gets crazy, because down there, I mean, there's a food court, but there's also some other shopping. But like this level, this level, this, like it just keeps going and going. And so this is one of the city's top shopping destinations, which you wouldn't even know was there. Um, if you weren't aware of the uh, underground. Um, I just hesitated to see if there's more down there, but I think that's just the Nike store, which actually opened very recently. Is it even open? Oh, there's two levels to it. Whoa. So, um, Yeah, this wasn't actually open last time I was here, so that's got to just opened.
Now, Eden's, this area I'm in now is called the Eden Center. Eden's was another major department store in Canada. Kind of like the Bay, which we walked through earlier. But Eden's went out of business, and I think a lot of these companies are um, struggling these days. These big destination stores are getting a... You know, too much competition from Amazon and other smaller stores. Now, I don't know if this connects. Uh, no. Okay, so this is the ground level, so... Once again, I gotta go down if I wanna continue. Oh, you too. I promised to show you the underground. I did not promise to show you it in the most <laughs> efficient and fast way. Whoa, check this out. What's happening here? Bonjour. Merci. <laughs> that is um it's like an art store they sell art supplies stuff like that I don't know what the uh, what the red guys <laughs> deal was about but uh Got my attention, so I guess it works. Hey, the REM, that's the uh, new transit line in Montreal. Some of the stations have already opened. I actually made a video about that. If you go back on my channel about, uh, if you go back about six videos, I would say. It's a very impressive transit project, but, um, it's not, it's not, it hasn't connected to the center of the city yet. Like, so this part is still coming in a couple more years. And eventually it will be able to connect you straight from the airport to here. <laughs> so in theory, I guess when that is done, you might be able to get straight from your plane to the underground and you could visit and shop in Montreal without actually stepping outside. <laughs> so that, that, would, that would be cool. If someone can make a video showing that, um, I mean, in that case, you would really be, that, that would be ideal for someone who really hates the cold.
YouTube. This place keeps going and going and going. I'll probably end this in a few minutes just for the sake of time. Simons. If anyone wants to go up these stairs, you can get a pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I guess it's like the bay, but I would say the difference Simons and I would say the difference with Simons is, is it's a bit more cool. I don't know. Is it fair to say it's cooler than the bay? Like the bay is what I think all the generations shot more at the bay, but Simons has stuff that attracts a younger crowd as well. steps have I done today? I mean, that is probably only about 600, so I've probably done 6,000 steps, just... <laughs> just in the underground. And I haven't even seen... Not only have I not seen, like, all of it from beginning to end, but, like, when you consider the levels... There's so much I haven't shown you. Look at this little Indian place. Hidden in the corner. Um, okay, if I continue down some more construction filled hallways, I could show you, show you another metro station, but honestly, at this point, I think I'm going to end my tour of the underground. Right here in Le Cour Mont Royal. Uh, is there anything else interesting to show you? Kind of a classy corner. I think this goes out. Barbie Expo. And then there's a random construction site. Oh, there's even a chandelier up there. I've, I've never actually... Okay. Another example of how you really never know how to get in or out. I'm just wondering if it actually leads out. And it does. I'm gonna leave you here for today, YouTube. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this. As always, I'm Dan from The New Travel, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.